what is going on everyone so iOS 12.0.1 just came out. We're going to take a look at it on the iPhone SE, look at the multi-core score and all that stuff. Now, I wanted to put this on my second channel because I already posted like tons of iOS videos on my main channel. I didn't want to just keep polluting that with it. And I kind of wanted to add more content on this channel. So on this one, it's going to be not only the iPhone SE and quite possibly other regular versions of the iPhones, but also the plus version. So the next videos I'm doing are like the 6 plus, 6s plus, 7 plus. I'm going to talk about those iOS versions on here too. And I'm going to do more comparisons on this channel as well. But that's enough of that little announcement. Now this update actually came out around 80 megabytes. So not a humongous one. It wasn't groundbreaking or anything. Usually they come out to a couple hundred. But this one's fairly small. But it's weird because it's smaller. But it brought quite a bit of stuff into it. And, and most of the main changes were actually for these. Uh, they were suited for the newer iPhones, the XS and the XS Max. One of those problems was ChargeGate. So as you guys probably already know, some iPhones XS and XS Maxes were having problems charging. When you were to plug it into the charging port, it would not start initiating charge until you actually opened it or touched the screen or turned it on. And I even made a video, and I'm not going to take any credit, all right? Like I made a video saying like, okay, it's probably a software problem. And it ended up being a software problem because there was no way it was a hardware problem because the phone was still charging. It just had to, you know turn the screen on. So um, people were freaking out for no reason, but Apple fixed it. So thank God. They also fixed another 10s and 10s Max problem where some connectivity, I think the problem was that when you would connect to Wi-Fi, it would automatically connect to the 2G data or the 2G Wi-Fi of that instead of the 5G or 4G. So I think it's usually 5G. So they fixed that too. So that's a really good thing. They also fixed a little minor thing with the iPad, the keyboard in it. They added the one, two, three thing, a little button. I think they took it out for some reason, but they added it back in. So that's good. Now going with this iPhone specifically and most of the regular variants, there were some Bluetooth problems on iOS 12 that they went ahead and fixed. So that's a really good thing. I never had any problems on my daily driver. I've had iOS 12 for a while and I've had no problems with it really besides the FaceTime and the battery, but I've seen a lot of people complain about certain problems on iOS 12 and on Reddit and stuff. But yeah, but keep posting in my comments problems with iOS 12 also with uh, on Reddit or even tweet me or DM me. I'd love to see it so then I can address them and people can fix it. But Apple did fix the Bluetooth problems. So if you were having that, that is fixed now. Now, in terms of the multi-core score on iOS 12, the official version, I had a multi-core score of 119,342 and I just re-ran it and it actually went up to 127,069. So quite a bit of a jump there. I'm glad they actually increased it there and it didn't decrease. It's surprisingly though on my iPhone 6s, it actually did go up quite a bit. So it, the, technically the iPhone 6s has a higher multi-core score than the iPhone SE, but I will do a further test to kind of test it. So um, I don't know if it's that much faster, but the iPhone SE has been pretty smooth on iOS 12. So I really have no complaints there. So that's a really good thing. And in terms of everything, I mean, I would definitely say if you're on iOS 12, go ahead and upgrade. I mean, there's a huge difference in stability here. And you will, if you're on the iPhone SE, get a little bit of speed increase too. So that's really good. I will do a speed comparison tomorrow between iOS 12 and 12.0.1 to see what the speed comparison there is too. And I will also do other battery tests as well and post it on this channel. So keep it locked down on this channel and also the main channel link below so you guys don't miss any of those videos. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. All that stuff is down there. Really appreciate if you guys check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. I will fuck out you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.